Hi, my name is Ron, WA1RF. I'm the trustee of the WCC Amateur Radio Association Club Station W1WCC. I'm going to give you a little tour of our shack, but before I do that, let's look at where we are located and the history behind it. We are located in the operating building of Chatham Radio WCC. The station was built by the Marconi Wireless Telegraph Company of America in 1914, but it did not go on the air until 1920 under the control of the Radio Corporation of America, commonly known as RCA. The building we are in is the original 1914 operating building, which is now the Marconi RCA Wireless Museum, located in the town of Chatham, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The station originally went on the air as a point-to-point -point radio telegraph station, providing services between the United States and Norway. However, in 1921, the station transitioned to ship-to-shore service, with the point-to-point -point services being transferred to RCA facilities on Long Island, New York. WCC was a ship-to-shore station from 1921 to 1997. It was a CW operation. There were never any microphones used at WCC. The WCC Amateur Radio Association honors the traditions of Chatham Radio by operating primarily on CW. So let's take a look at the shack. We have three operating positions. Each position has a computer that's used for logging with the N3 FJP logging software. The computers are networked to a log server, which is a mini computer. In position one, we have a Kenwood TS520 and a ASU FT2000 with the AL80B amplifier. There are two bugs, both fiberplex, one dating to 1960, the other dates to 1965. There's also a Nye Viking paddle, which dates back to 1977. And finally, there is a Bunnell straight key, which happens to be mounted on a homemade lead base. The base was made by melting lead fishing weights and pouring the lead into a sardine can, which is an old timer's trick. Both bugs, paddles, and straight key were used on the circuit at WCC by either me or colleagues of mine. In position number two, there's a Drake T4XB transmitter and a Collins 75S3C receiver. This gear is owned and operated by Harry WA1GXC. That's Whiskey Alpha 1 Golf X-Ray Charlie. Harry is a former WCC operator, and there's video of him operating here in the shack on a YouTube channel. Harry uses either a bug or a straight key. Then we have position 3, which has an ICOM IC746 Pro. This gear is operated by Bob N1MFW. That's November 1 Mike Fox Whiskey. He uses a bug which was originally belonged to his uncle Bill, W1KL, who is now a silent key. Bill was the chief engineer at the WCC transmitter site for many, many years. Bob is a former U.S. Coast Guard operator, and there is video of him on the air on our YouTube channel. I should mention the W1HNJ uh, station, which is a ship console from the famous hospital ship the SS Hope, whose call sign was WHNJ. The console is an exhibit in the museum, and we do put it on the air. It's an ITT McKay Marine MRU 19 stroke 20A. The transmitter was originally crystal controlled, so we have retrofitted it with a synthesizer as a VFO so we can put it on the hand bands. The rig is activated for straight key night and museum ships weekend. There's video of Ed, K1GGI, that's Kilo 1 Golf, Golf India, 
on the air for Straight Key Night, also on our YouTube channel. As for antennas, we have resident dipoles on all HF bands, as well as an 80 meter off center fed and a Marconi T. The antennas are suspended from old WCC poles and range in elevation from 55 feet to over 100 feet above sea level. We have bandpass filters on 80, 40, 30, 20, and 17 meters. And there's an antenna patch panel that provides access to all the antennas for each operating position. So there you have it. The station is far from state-of-the-art, but is traditional and functional. So you can learn more about our operation and Chatham Radio at our website, www.wccara.org. So thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the air.